Yeah, so someone spilled some wine or blood on the floor. And those students are still downstairs. Oh, there's something on the wall. There's a palm print on the wall. What? What the fuck? What the hell happened here? Wait, are these just... Wait, what? Wait, were these the students I saw downstairs, but now they're dead? What? The blood dried not too long ago. What are these different people? Multiple fractures. Not a good way to die. Jesus Christ, they've been absolutely slaughtered. The wounds are still bleeding. They really do look like us. No need to attend those boring lectures now. <laughs> the illusions can do that for us. Wait, what? They make clones of themselves to attend lectures so they could just stay at home? But obviously that didn't work out, did it? Clean this up. No one must know we took their place. Oh shit. So they basically made clones of themselves and then the clones rebelled and killed their originals and then now they're just going around doing whatever what no stop time to figure this out so the students downstairs aren't the original real ones those are the fake clone ones but do they know that i've known like do they know that i found out what's happened so it's this one they really do look like us no need to attend those boring lectures now <laughs> the illusions can do that for us and this one what no! Then this one. Clean this up. No one must know we took their place. Students made copies of themselves. There was a massacre and the illusion replaced the originals. The book was taken by one of the copies. What the fuck? How do they make clones? They use the book to clone themselves. Let me check this room first. That's a powerful book if they can make clones of themselves. <clears throat> uh, student's diary. Finally, Esther, Esther has found the book we were looking for. If it's true, then we'll be able to attend all our boring lectures without actually going. The illusions will take our place. It's incredible. I wonder why no one else has done this. Well, obviously, we now know why no one else has done this. So those students downstairs are the illusions, they're the fake ones. Are they still down there? Yep, yeah, they're still down there. Oh, what's going to happen? They're probably going to attack me as soon as I grab this. The second eyelid by your humble servant, my faithful reader. There are things in this world that defy logical reason. Lesser minds will insist on their falsity. Wait, falsity? But truth is, is the is in the eye of the beholder. Be brave, ignore the ignorant, and close your second eyelid. I shall teach you how to cut a slice from another dimension and manifest these dark materials before the eyes of thousands of these. These illusions will seem all but real, but note well. You must never bring across living creatures. They are not of this world. Oh yeah, they're attacking. Oh, she's got a gun. Oh shit. Fucking hell. Get fucked. And that's all the clues. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as I... grabbed the book, they were going to attack me. 
I was right. Of course I was. But that's done. At least we killed him. Uh, so what's that to do now? So, yep. So, three students used the book to create illusions of themselves, but something went wrong, and the copies massacred the real students and took their places. The book was then taken by one of the copies. So, I need to go to an archive. Um, the book was loaned for personal reading. Clerk in the Bank of Oatmont lives somewhere in Advent. Advent, huh? So, I guess I'll check out the university library. I think. What's well, wrong with these people? What's your problem? You, that's what. I feel like with all the stuff that's going on, I wouldn't be surprised if more and more people are drawn to these cults or cult. Things just ain't good around here, or anywhere in Oakmont. It's all messed up. Yeah, I've seen this before. Fighting over a round object, only to be like, oh, it's worth nothing, then throw it away, and then going back to just going through whatever it is they're digging through. Dumbasses. I'm guessing I go to the Oakmont University Library to check the archives for that, for, for the case I'm doing, I think. I think that'll help me uh, find out more about this case, or at least give me another clue as to what to do next. this one. Can I talk to her? Shh. Nope, she's just being a bitch. Alright, let's uh, check the archives. Not in this room, I guess. Not in this room, I think it's... Yeah, here. Um, what was that? Finding the third book? So the book was known for personal reading, address loss. So Benjamin Miller. Uh, clerk in the Bank of Oatmont, Oakmont. Lives somewhere in Advent. So local. Uh, borrower history. Yeah, the book was loaned. Um, doesn't say what kind of book it is. I guess it's religion? No. Science? Restricted. No. History? No. Right, let me do that again. Okay, so Angels of the Mind. Doesn't really say, well you can't really tell what kind of book it is. Um, borrow history because it was loaned. Uh, local. Am I in the right place? It has to be the right place, right? Because it's about a book. Because um, it says to look at the like to look in the archives. It doesn't say which one, like which archives specifically. But it's, like I must be in the right place. Because I'm at the library. It says the book was loaned. You know, it's talking about books. 
or a book. So like, where, where else? And it says live somewhere in Advent. You know, so I don't see where else it could be. Unless it's City Hall I need to go to. I might need to go to City Hall though. Because I think if I was in the right place, it would have that uh, icon thing on the evidence. But it doesn't, so I guess it's not the right place. So it has to be City Hall then. Yeah, I think I'm right. I have to go to City Hall. I'm going to have to go through the infested area to get there. Uh, Bob's going to run straight through. I'm not fighting any of them. Can't be bothered. What's the point? I get XP out of it, but that's about it. Interesting, look, that is. And also, that statue is a bit odd. Like, just tied up to a post. And there's this mural-looking thing again. What is the point of this? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, just keep going. Yep, don't stop, just keep going, don't stop. Just go, just go. Christ. Why is it those things congregate in some areas and in others they don't? Like, what's stopping them from just, you know, just running around all throughout the streets? Alright, let's check the City Hall archives. They should have archives. Uh, stop bothering me, newcomer. Yeah, alright, dickhead. Yeah, right place, it's got the icon. So... Subjects. He's a citizen. Occupation and Advent. Yep, there we go. Benjamin Miller. Benjamin Miller, date of birth October 13, 1889. Occupation clerk at the Bank of Oakmont. Marshall status, not married. Address Carpenter Street between Benevolent Tides Road and Hawthorne Ave in Central Advent. Alright, that's it. Now I have his address. Central Advent, Carpenter Street. Carpenter Street, between Benevolent Tides. That's Benevolent Tides Road and Hawthorne Ave. So here. Hawthorne Ave is there and Benevolent Tides Road is just there and all this is Carpenter Street has to be the right place oh uh, a professor is a poison thief I might have to go to the police station archives for that one. Uh, that one. Let's focus on this one first. I'll just fast travel over. Go this way and then down that way. I 
Feel the gentle touch of tentacles? No thanks. Yeah, don't think I want any of that. To the right. I, th I think this is the right place. Yeah, right place. Get rid of that. gun out just in case. What's this? That was a key. Melted iron key. What else is there? Oh, oh, there's a letter. Note on the door. We're upstairs waiting for you as always. The key is under the illusion. If we succeed before you return, don't panic. We'll leave the door book here. You'll be able to open the portal and follow us. A portal? What is wrong with these people? Okay, let's uh, try the puzzle. Whoa. Well, that, was a, that was an abrupt portal. Alright, what am I looking for? Oh, I see. Oh shit, who are these guys? Oh fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. Scum. What is wrong with these freaks? Let's check out the area. Oh, there's the bug. Okay, anything else? Let's read it. Angels of the Mind by your humble servant. All known forms and shapes are more complex than you dare think, my humble student. Have you ever tried to look inside a straight line or find the end of a circle? The angles hide entire realms of existence. Dimensions of utter incongruity? Where size is backwards and time is optional. And with my help, you can open a passage to these places using only the lines and angles of your mind. What? Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. That's all of it. What do I do now? Okay, it looks like I've got to go back and talk to him. Before I do that, I'm gonna... Well, actually, I'll finish both of these. So I'll go talk to that guy again. Hopefully, well, I mean, he might have something else for me to do afterwards. I'll do that as well, but I'll try and finish these two and then continue on with this one. So I need to go back to the university. Yeah, I'll go here and fast travel over. Of 
thought I saw something I can go in. I mean, so far, this game's been alright. You know, I'm not. Like, it's interesting. You know, detective stuff and all that, and especially with all this weird science shit as well, with like weird ass fish monsters and cultists and all that shit. And like all this mass hysteria is interesting. And the combat's good as well. It's alright. It's not bad. Alright, where's that guy? There he is. Let's go talk to him. Tell him we found the books. Tell me more about your book club. We think that knowledge should be available to everyone who seeks it. Unlike those snobs in the university library. So we have assembled our own collection. Every club member can borrow any book they want. That's interesting. For what it's worth, club meetings are every Thursday in the hall of the Devil's Reef Hotel. Come along. I'll think about it. I believe these are the books you were after. Safe and sound. Unlike the people who read them. Maybe you should reconsider how widely you share this knowledge. You're starting to sound like the snobs from the university. Close-minded and arrogant. Nevertheless, you have my gratitude. Our unique collection is once again complete. I trust this will be enough compensation for your trouble. Bye. Well, I mean, if this dumbass knew what the books did to people, and what people did because of these books, then he wouldn't be so forthcoming and sharing this knowledge. Some books can be really mind-blowing, don't you think? No. Okay. I'm gonna fast travel to the church because remember I talked to a guy at the fish market who was like a priest or an apocalypse world ending tramp or some shit and he said to check out the church so I might go to the church and see if there's something going on there What's your problem? Get out of my way, that's the problem So I'm gonna check out the church then I'll go back to the hotel just to see if that if they're doing a meeting at the hotel because it's where I'm staying and also while I'm there I can change my outfit to something else all right which way is it oh, it's right in front of me see look at that what is that a statue and that monolith Right, is there actually going to be anyone inside the church? <sighs> the door won't budge. Uh, what? Maybe I need to go find another way in. <sighs> the door won't budge. It's got the hobo sign on it, so I can go in there. But just <sighs> not from this door. to probably go around to the other side. There might be a way in from that side. Look at this fucking thing. It's like a mountain just grew out of the ground. Right, let's see if I can get into the church from this side. Is this the church? I think it is. Oh, maybe there's only one way in. This is definitely a church. Yeah, I think there's only one way in. I can't get in. Yeah. The door won't budge. Must be a side quest then. Oh, 
Alright, um... Who do I need to talk to again about this? I think I need to talk to, um... Frogmorton, right? Yeah. I think that's what I need to talk to you about. Because he's the one that gave me that, uh, uh, case. So, where's his manor? Can I fast travel? Of course not. Alright, well actually, let me go back to the hotel. See if there's like a meeting going on there. If not, I'll just change outfits. Since I'm there. I'm watching you, newcomer. Do you actually hey, do anything? Do does that guy actually do anything? I'm oh, watching you. Oh, good for you. <sighs> the door won't budge. Yeah, I've been in that room. Nothing, oh, actually. Oh, there is a letter. What's this? Insanity spreading. In recent days, Oakmont has experienced out outbursts or outbreaks of sudden madness. They seem to be spreading throughout the city, seemingly at random. The witnesses report seeing university scientists at the location of the outbreaks. Dr. Philip Grant of St. Mary's Hospital believes it is all due to a peculiar kind of helminth infestation that apparently originated somewhere around the university. He advises citizens not to neglect their health and to visit the hospital for a highly effective anti helminthic treatment at the first signs of disease. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, let me go around dressed up as a fisherman. Detective fisherman. Fast travel there, I think that's somewhat closer to the manor. <laughs> yeah, get the bow and just go that way. Fresh fish, fresh fish. Just caught, mister. Yeah, sure it was. It's just all the way ahead. Why does that happen? Just randomly things will just move or fly in front of me or just bump or something. See, look again. Why did it do that? Is that one gonna move? No. What about that one? No. Alright, let's go talk to Frog Morton. Yeah, the mortician has touched him up well. Right, he's not there. Where the hell's he gone? Oh, there he is. I've finished the investigation. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. 
He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes, who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is the mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Uh, both of them are dead, or Sydney is alive, report him. Well, I did say I would, didn't I? Sydney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? I would welcome it. I'll take pleasure in, uh educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truths. Could have told me about reward. It wouldn't have killed you to let me know you were going after the mirror from the start. As I said, this is a very delicate matter. I wasn't confident I could trust you with such sensitive information until now. All right, I've held up my end of the bargain. Now? It's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. Refuse? Accept or buy? Why would I refuse? I'll accept. I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, uh, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. And what's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Did he have enemies? Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. Nice. I'm not in the mood for chit-chat, Mr. Reed. Yeah, alright, whatever, monkey face. Oh, we gotta... Oh, we gotta search the manor. Okay. Uh, where do I use the key? Oh, maybe for upstairs. And they're still crying. No, so maybe downstairs? Oh no, is it this way? Yep. Seems an ambitious expedition. Yeah. Like father, like son. Interesting. Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. Oh, I bet. Seems an ambitious expedition. I'm looking sharp. But, I guess that's the point. Oh, hilarious. Two puns. 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. Yeah. Okay, oh, what's this? Exclusive interview. Francis Frogmorton's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious of sadly under appre unappreciated undertakings of 1891. He has returned with numerous historical artifacts, invaluable anthropolo wait, anthropological research, a newborn son, christened Robert, and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights. Today, in an exclusive inter interview with the Oakmont Chronicle, he has agreed to share some of those insights with us. My senses are tingling. What's this? 
Well, half of that's missing. Now, oh, that kid looks a little familiar. Private correspondence 1212 1894. Francis, divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been. In my legal practice, you must clearly define the fault you shall present to the court. The most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. It is my impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. Regards, Chauncey. There's clearly still more evidence. What have I missed? What have I missed? Eighteen ninety one must have been a busy year for Francis. What am I missing? Must be a clue I'm missing somewhere. Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp, but I guess that's the point. Seems an ambitious expedition. Eh, like father, like son. What am I missing? La left half of a torn photograph. Maybe I need to talk to Frogmorton to get all the evidence. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But, even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. It's not gossip, it's my evidence. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. Have a good day. There you go, all evidence collected. <laughs> so where do I go now? A letter that mentions Oakmont Asylum. That's that place. Yep, asylum. So I need to go to the asylum. Yeah, I guess just head straight down and go that way. Yeah. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, just one more over. Head to the asylum. It's been a while since I've been there. As a visitor, anyway. Who am I even going to talk to? 
Wait, do they? I think they might have archives. I can probably check. I don't remember. Who do I talk beside him? I'm looking for Bethany Throgmorton. You got any patients by that name? We'd know if we had a Throgmorton. Although, we do have a Bethany. Or rather, we did. Sh she's missing. And not on one of her usual walks. Her usual walks? You let patients leave the building? Oh, Bethany was harmless. And she always came back. This time, well, I've never known her to be like that. You mean she broke out? Yes. Knocked an orderly out cold. She was out the door in a moment. It took us all by surprise. She's usually harmless. Any idea where she went? No. She had been odd recently, though. Uh, muttering to herself, and she drew this strange picture on her bedroom wall. That's interesting. Can I take a look at her room? I suppose it couldn't hurt. She had a separate room downstairs. Here's the key, but do watch out for broken glass. Broken glass? Bye. Anything I can help you with? Nope. That's so dumb that they would just let a all this blood, that they would just let a patient walk around freely. That's so stupid and we're just so careless and reckless. This is morphine. There's enough dope left in here to knock out a horse. The blood's almost dry. It's not very clever of the asylum staff to let their patients wander around freely. Like, even if they're harmless, you shouldn't presume they're always going to be like that. You have to take precautions, so in case something like this does happen, they don't get away or knock out staff. At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. Sure. What's this? Someone had a field day defacing these. Oh, looks like she's got a grudge. There's the other half of the picture. Huh. Was this taken at gunpoint? What? Gunpoint? Frogmorton's in mourning. Jan Hammond Frogmorton, Francis Frogmorton's firstborn, has been pronounced dead. Mortally injured in a mysterious accident during a family holiday. Little Hammond could not be revived despite his doctor's best efforts. The funeral will be held later this week, with only family and close friends attending. In this dark and tragic hour, we are trying to remain grateful for all we have, including for all we have, including Baby Robert, shared Francis Frogmorton. As my sole remaining heir, I will do all I can to protect him. Bethany's note: All I do, I do for my dear Hammond. I cannot forget that. Shame on me for thinking that reprobate squint had more common sense than greed in him. He got the mirror, and I do not care how he did it, but when the time came for the exchange, he wanted more, so much more, he had, to, he had the gall to threaten me. Said he'd find a new buyer. What's done is done. No one has the right to come between a mother and her child. So that old woman was Bethany? I will find it, baby boy. I promise. Just tell me more. What? Stop right there. That's actually smacked him with the mirror. You no longer have any power over me. I have found my Hammond. He's shown me the way. Randall Glassworks. In Salvation Harbor. Oh, I can't believe it. 
The answers have been there since the last century. Time to piece this one together. I'm guessing it's this one. Randall Glass. This one. You no longer have and that stopped one. right there. Bethany escaped the asylum after getting the mirror from Glover. The next stop looks to be a factory called Randall Glassworks. Key evidence collected. I didn't get all the evidence? What did I miss? What did I miss? No, there must be something I missed. What have I missed? What have I missed? There must be something I've missed. Someone had a field day to face a maze. I missed something. I can't leave until I find all the evidence. At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. What have I missed? I don't know what I missed. I missed something. The blood's almost dry. Unless I talk to the person at the front desk. Maybe. Let's see. Yep. Seems that Bethany had a thing for mirrors. You know anything about that? Oh, yes. Poor soul. She was convinced there was a boy called Hammond living in her mirrors. She talked to him every day. I see. Bye. There you go. That's all the evidence. Okay, now I need to go to the archives. Since the last century. Randall Glassworks in Salvation Harbor. Um, which archives would I check for that? Is that the University Library? I think so. It might be that one. Well, I mean, I'll know because if I get the right archives, it will have the icon on the evidence. Oh, you're fine. See if this is the right archives. No, nothing, so not the right archives then. Is it City Hall? Let me check again. Bethany broke out of the asylum. Her next stop seems to be a factory called the Randall Glassworks in Salvation Harbor since the last century. Um, is it the Oakmont Chronicle, maybe? It might be that.
if it's not that place, then I'll just go by like one by one to all the other places, and I'll have to be one of those at some point, if not the newspaper place. Uh, I've head this way. Never mind, not that way. This way. This is the right place. Stay safe. No, it's not the right place either. What, which fucking place is it then? Is it the police station? Because it says Bethany's next step. So it's not the... Maybe it's City Hall then. I'll try City Hall. Well, actually, I'll... I mean... It's probably not the police station, but I guess I could check since it's nearby. But I doubt it's the police station. I think it might be City Hall. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Uh, to left. Oh, I can't go that way because of the wall. For fuck's sake. Do I have any skill points? No. Oh, I might have three points off, was it? How am I that close? the station just across the street can I help the fence yep yeah. All right, I'm just gonna check the station's archives to make sure it's not this place yeah, it's not. So it has to be City Hall, I think. Don't see where else it could be if not City Hall. Because I've checked everywhere else apart from the hospital. I don't see why it would be there. Alright, there's the archives. Is this the right place? Yes. There we go, there's the icon, so I'm in the right place. So, subject... Uh, citizens. Period. Since the last century. Uh, Salvation Harbor. No. Other? Okay, hang on. So you got Bethany broke out of the asylum. So, other? 
Uh, next up seems to be a factory called the Randall Glassworks in Salvation Harbor. Salvation Harbor since the last century. Enterprises? What? Name, oh right, because of the glassworks thing. Name, Randall Glassworks, established 1884, proprietor, Gaunter Randall, address, Salvation Harbor, Southern Salvation Harbor, Skipper Road between El Eel Street and Clamshaw Street. Alright, so let me check the map. So Salvation Harbor, Southern, Skipper Road, where's Skipper Road? There's Skipper Road, between Eel Street, Eel Street, and Clamshaw Street. Oh, that's Clamshaw Street. So is it like somewhere here then? I guess. So I have to fast travel there and make my way all the way down there. Which way? I guess down that way and this way? Yeah, I'll do that. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, this is. Is this the church? Maybe this is the. Because this is also a church. Because I can go in this one. No one's here. No. Uh, I don't think anyone's here anyway. Oh, well, anyway, let's uh, keep going down this road. what's going to happen when we get there because that's where Bethany went so will we encounter her to this place I wonder why she's gone to this glassworks factory or whatever and then to the left Has to be along here. Has to be one of these buildings along here. Right, which building? Is it this building? Oh, yep. There's loads of them. 